Okay, so apparently somebody reported that Dame Dash is broke. And while I'm, I'm trying not to laugh at this, this is just really stupid. And while I'm saying this, I also want you to understand that there were also reports at a different time that Michael Jackson was broke. Now, with that being said, Michael Jackson passed away and his estate is making something around like three mil, $300 million a year. So can we please stop calling these individuals who can't generate money because of who they know or because of what their name is or because of relationships that they have already made with other organizations? Can we please stop calling these people broke every time they owe money? Because sometimes a fool just owe money. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. <laughs> so apparently there is okay. So I'm not trying to bash any other news agency or any actual news agency. If people don't consider us to be and me an agent that distributes the news, but. I think that sometimes we have to look at things um, like with a panoramic view rather through, you know, you know, like the blinders they put on the horses so the horses run straight. For anybody that don't know, in horse racing, they put like blinders on the horse so the horse can only really see directly in front of it because they try to disrupt the field of vision. I guess that helps the horse run in the race without, you know, being scared and running in the, whatever the case might be. That's not how we need to start looking at situations in our community i mean we have to think for a minute and use common sense dame dash is not broke okay so for everybody that don't know recently it has been uh reported by tmz that dame dash was broke i don't know if they meant to report it that way but it seems like every single person that is also reporting that has decided to report on this case has grasped that particular narrative from the tmz report not me so much but that's what it seems like it is anyway so for everybody that don't know dame dash the other day had to pay child support for everybody also that don't know dame dash has been having child support problems for a couple of years now it keeps getting reported that he has to pay child support let me give you a little bit of backstory real quick because i don't know if anybody else has i don't really watch anybody else's videos on this too tough so what happened was Dame Dash has two baby mamas that has not that he's actually back on child support on. One of them used to actually run a company for him. They ran a company together. I believe she's on the West Coast. I'm not 100% sure. I can be incorrect about that. But I believe she was on the West Coast. So what had happened was they had a company that they were running together. He like opened the company or something or backed it financially and she was running the company and i'm assuming making a wage even though she was making a wage somehow he also had to pay child support for whatever the reason was she wasn't taking the child support monies out of the company's monies that <laughs> he was financing i don't understand this I don't know how the world works. I don't understand how any of this happens. I don't understand how she could have a company that Dame Dash is, I guess, part owner of or something along those lines, has financed in order for her to be able to run. And while she's running said company, not only does she get child support from Dame Dash, I don't know how many people get child support and they run a company, but not only do they get, she get child support because um not only does she get child support and she runs the company but also in addition to that dame jash is making money off of said company which she is not then allocating towards his child support so 
Dame Dash got caught up. He got behind on a lot of child support with her due to this. I'm not 100% sure how he got behind on the other um, baby mama, but that's how he got behind on one of the cases. Dame Dash is not broke. He got caught behind because he didn't know that the monies weren't being paid. It's really that simple. Then, when it became known that the monies weren't being paid, I think Dame Dash had the same question that I just asked you. That I just, you know, threw out there into the into the ether. She's the president of a company that he started. How is she not? First of all, how is she getting child support? But beyond that, how is she not taking the money out of the monies that is his and allocating that towards her child support that he's supposed to be paying? So, you know, shout out to that. Anyway, Dame Dash goes to actually pay the child support that he's in arrears for. And at that time, he gets arrested. Police, I don't know. I don't understand none of this. I am so confused. How do you get arrested for monies that you owe while you are actively paying those monies? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man, our judicial system, I don't know what to say. I think there's just so much going on. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't understand how it works. But anyway, so Dame Dash gets arrested. They only arrest him for a minute. I think it was just like, you know, going through the motions or whatever. I don't know how that goes. So he ends up paying the rest of the money, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to tell you what the problem is that I personally have with this whole entire story. I follow Dame Dash on IG. Dusk Poppington. And I'm going to tell you this. This is a whole fact. Dame Dash is constantly throwing out gems. He's throwing out gems, jewels for the ears, for the mind, for the body, for the soul, for the spirit. He's throwing out gems almost every other day. Besides that, you see him working. He has like a, a television studio or some kind of, I don't know, but he's like producing some kind of show or something. And then besides that, he has like some kind of podcast or something else going on. And then they're also, in addition to that, he has like two or three other things that he's doing. Please stop saying that a man that owns property is broke. The simple fact of owning property, and I'm not saying owning property and it's like mortgage to the hilt. I'm saying owning property that's yours, you own. You're not, it's not currently mortgaged. Stop saying those people are broke, please. If if Dame Dash is doing all of these positive things, I want to know why we can't report on the positive things that Dame Dash is doing and why certain news agencies wait until the effery happens for them to then report on that hard body. When you fall down a manhole cover, they looking for you. When you out on the block putting together some kind of turkey run for the for the poor and unfortunate, they know where to be found. When you when you're creating jobs for people in the in the middle to lower income, middle to lower class, they know where to be found. But when you owe money that you're currently trying to go pay for child support, they in your hip pocket. Please, people, stop being tricked. Dame Dash is not broke. Are you serious? Seriously, are you? His residuals is probably going to, he don't even probably need to work. <laughs> oh, man, you talking about, they talking about a guy that's broke, that's busy out there buying stuff like pro kids. I mean, I haven't seen any pro kids. Have I seen any pro kids? Did he buy vans? I don't know, but he's buying stuff. Companies. Please stop saying this guy's broke. Anyway, um. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. And also, just specifically speaking on this topic, and I'm not trying to bash nobody, once again, we all know that negative news sells more than positive news. We know this. But am I the only one that thinks that there need to be, it needs to be some kind of, of, of scale there, that we need to be responsible and even though, yes, we're going to report on the negative things, we have to sometimes also report on the positive things that a person is doing. Am I the only one that thinks this? Am I the only one? I want to know this. Leave it down in the chat. Leave it down in the comments. Also, I want to know who thinks Damon Dash is honestly broke. Please leave that down in the comment section. I want to know which one of you 
think that Dame Dash really don't have enough money to go to the store and buy a slice of New York pizza. <laughs> Now, I understand what the argument is. Rich people broke and poor people broke is two different brokes. I get it. But when you report that somebody is broke, nobody is going to say, oh, they only got a couple hundred thousand dollars. By the way, he had to pay four hundred thousand dollars, which he then paid. So I don't know how you're paying four hundred thousand dollars and you're broke. I don't even understand that concept. I, matter of fact, I don't even want anybody to explain it to me because it sounds like rubbish. So leave it down in the comment section. And what do y'all think about the news agency that broke this particular story that Dame Dash was broke? I also want to know that. I believe it was TMZ. Shout out to them. But I want to know what y'all think about this particular news agency that breaks the story that Dame Dash is broke while he's paying $400,000 in child support. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.